this side of baby, you hear me? I say side of baby, you hear me? I'm fucking with OTR views. If you ain't fuck with them, you a bitch made nigga. On Phantom Gray. All right, man, we back on the north, man. We here with Desiree Simone, what's happening? That's the motherfucking word, right? Yeah. Light-skinned, chicken in. But y'all already knew that. Yeah. They definitely already knew light-skinned was chicken in. For sure. Tell us a little bit about you. Um, all right, so... Desiree Simone is the name. Light-skinned, chicken in. You know what I'm saying? That's my complexion, so that's what it is. Okay. Um, I'm from the southwest side, but I live on the north side now. You know what I'm saying? North side. When I moved to the north side, that's when I really started doing music full time. You know what I'm saying? So I've been doing this my second year. Okay. Doing it full time and it's cool. You feel me? I put out a mixtape. Um, I just dropped the EP. You feel me? I just dropped another single, Nasty, featuring Hollywood Brew. You know what I'm saying? So, we working. We steady working. We shooting videos. Okay. All the day. Okay. So, kind of give us a quick rundown real quick of how you became a part of Lost Life. Um, so, all right. So, when I started rapping, I was rapping on Instagram. Just in the morning, dropping freestyles in the car. You know what I'm saying? That's what I was doing. And I had just made my Instagram a business account. You know, when you put your phone number on there and your email, I guess. And I put my phone number on there, and like the next day, somebody called me. And I was literally still in the bed. I had my bonnet on. I was real red shit. And it was a FaceTime, and I was like, what the fuck? I ignored the whole They called again. I'm like, hold on, what the fuck uh -huh. going on? <laughs> so Wait, I so answered. You ignored the call. Right, because okay. I'm like, I don't know who this is. I don't answer numbers. I don't know. Like, that's. That's cold. You don't do that. Like, yeah. what's up? Okay. You gonna at least have to text me who you is before I answer the phone. Cause yeah. I need to know what's going on. Like, what's up? But so, uh, I answered the second time cause they called right back. I'm like, man, well, let me see who this is. And I put the camera like on the wall cause I was looking wretched. And it was a dude. And I'm like, how you get my number? That's the first thing I said. How you get my number? And he was like, I'm your biggest fan. Um, blah, 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 blah. right. So his name was Easy. Um, Easy to barber, right? Okay. And so he was a brother of the natural. He is a brother of the natural. Okay. So he in the car, he in the truck with the natural at this very moment while he on the phone with me. And he like, I'm your biggest fan, man. If you pull up to the studio right now, your studio time gonna be free. Yeah. And I'm like, where the studio at? Yeah. Like, well, I gotta go. <laughs> He's like, we on the north side. I'm like, ah, oh, hell no, nah, because I'm on the south side right yeah. now. I'm from the southwest, so this one I'm at. Okay. I'm like, damn. Okay, so um, I'm like, man, don't bullshit. Because if I drive all the way to the north side on me, like, I bet it better be what you saying it's going to be. Like, I better not get there and nobody's there. Like, right. right. So he like, nah, this my bro right here. He put the camera on the natural. He had his the natural hat on the, uh, the Enclave recording studio shirt on. Mm -hmm. Whatever, you know what I'm saying? So uh, he's like, my bro right here is his studio. He said it's good. And then, you know, you put him on the phone. He's like, nah, yeah, I'm going through your page right now. It's going to be good. I'm like, okay, bet I'm going to be on the way. So I get there probably like two hours later. And um, when I when I walked up, the door was locked. <laughs> <laughs> the door was locked, dog. Okay. And um, they wasn't answering their phone. Wow. Oh, I was hot. Oh, okay. yeah. So I said, Yeah, they got us fucked up. We're gonna wait outside. We're gonna wait in the car because they in there. They yeah. just, something going on. Yeah. Maybe they fall dead or something. Yeah. But it's an explanation for this, okay. right? And so, like, 20 minutes went by, or whatever. Then they come outside. They're like, Ah, we fell asleep. Da, 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 whatever. I'm like, Yeah, some. I knew it was an explanation. I knew y'all didn't make me drive all the way out here for no reason. Like, yeah. I knew it was, right? So. Come in, this story really crazy. Come in, you know what I'm saying? We go in the back, we talking to the natural, cause obviously he the, he the owner of the studio, and you know, he the big man. So, go in the back, you know what I'm saying? The first thing he tell me after rip is he ain't trying to sign no artist. <laughs> like, <laughs> he ain't looking for nobody. Um, he had just signed uh, Cali Boy, my mm -hmm. little brother. He had just signed Cali Boy, he was like, he wasn't looking for no more artists. I was like, damn. Okay, I mean, whoa, I wouldn't, I wouldn't really just fully into music like that. Like, I was just doing my little shit in the car, so I wasn't just too offended, but I just wanted to do my shit in the studio. Like, yeah. I wasn't tripping on none of that. Like, okay, yeah. cool, whatever. So, um, J-Dog walk in the studio and walk out, 
and I took my gold mama with me. And a week prior to this, J Dog had just seen me on Instagram. He DM me and said he wanted to do a song with me, and I was like, damn, that's crazy. Oh, yeah. So. Then he walk in his hole, walk out of his hole, and I'm like, hold on, what the fuck <laughs> just happened? Like, I got chills. I just got him again. Yeah. My go my girl mama said, is, is that your dog? I said, that's your dog. So, uh, we ended up telling Easy the ball, like, uh, you know, I just talked to that nigga like a week ago, da 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 So he go in the studio, he like, J-Dog, you don't know who that is in the, uh, in the office? He was like, tell her, come here. When I walked in, he was like, oh my God. Da, 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 you know what I'm saying? Whatever. Yeah. And that same day, we did a song. Like, my first day in the studio, we did a song right then and there. You feel me? And then after that song with J Dog, I went to the next studio next door and I did another song by myself. Yeah. And then after I got out of that studio, I went to another studio. I went to the last booth and I did another song. And I was like, I just put the hook down the first verse and then the natural walked in. Mm. And he was like, oh, yeah, I got to get on this. And so that was my second feature. And, like, I just really, I really didn't want to go home. And I just kept recording, kept recording, kept recording. And eventually that's just what it built up to be, me getting signed. But it definitely was not, like, planned. He definitely yeah. told me off the rip he was not looking for nobody. Like, yeah. no sir. Yeah, you got to kind of have some drive to even be like, all right, I'm going to just wait out here real quick and just oh yeah because i drove like 50 minutes yeah <laughs> and i got on the toll like i was yeah. like um, yeah. you think i'm gonna drive 50 minutes back without an explanation right, oh right, no right, something's right. gotta give we right. gotta know something <laughs> right okay okay For real. so what's the hardest thing you feel like is like the hardest part about you pursuing a music career i think it's harder like right now like for me it's harder because it's what I'm doing full time, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, versus working and doing it, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? But I feel like I give it my all doing it full time. I don't have no distractions with it, so mm -hmm. it's not the worst thing, but I just feel like it's always like I could have a job right now and be making money right now and not just be, you know what I'm saying, dreaming. Right. But it's going to pay off in the end. I'm so not going to say dreams do pay I off. I was going to say it's going to pay off, so it's good. I ain't tripping. Okay. Now, what kind of artist would you label yourself as? What you mean? Like, would you say, like, I'm just straight rap? Talk about rap? No, because I be kind of singing a little bit. Okay. Like, you know, on It's a Vibe on my EP. I was singing a little bit on them. So, mm -hmm. I don't feel like I just rap. I feel like I'm very versatile. Like, I like to test different stuff. I like to try different sounds. And at the same time, I'm still discovering what sound really fit me. You know uh -huh. what I'm saying? So I'm definitely not going to put myself in just a box of rap because yeah. I just be talking that shit. Yeah, because, you know, a lot of people, when they see female rappers, they want to know what they're talking about. They want to know what they talk about. Man, I, just, ass I just be talking that shit. I, I, I really don't like to talk about that because yeah. I feel like it's already so many people that do that. Uh, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And eventually that wave is going to die and all of them are going to die with it. Mm-hmm. So that's not really what I talk about. And even me coming in the rap, that's not what I was talking about. I was really talking about my life, the way I grow up, the way I grew up, you know what I'm saying? My struggles and stuff I went through uh -huh. and all of that. Like, that's really what I talk about and kind of what I aspire to be, what I'm becoming and all of that. Like, definitely not just the bad stuff. Yeah. You know, we do a little love stuff too sometimes. So that's okay. all of that. Okay. Now, even though you done came and basically joined the North Side over here with us. <laughs> 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 right. Do you still get your same amount of support from all over the city? Yeah, for sure. I definitely get the whole city support. You feel me? And that's it's shocking, cause I'm like, I'm 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 bold and I'm loud and all of that. Yeah. But at the same time, I could be real shy and real reserved. So it just be crazy for people I don't even know to know me or right. you know what I'm saying to respect my music and they from a whole different side of, right. it's crazy for the north side to accept me the way they accept me right. you feel me but that shit crazy like that shit crazy okay so is music something that you always wanted to pursue I never seen myself doing it full time I never seen myself being a rapper like I never seen myself saying yeah I'm a rapper in real life like me growing up, Zero was my favorite rapper, so I rapped all his songs. Like, I wrote them, and, um, mm -hmm. like, I performed them hoes when they come on because that's that that was my favorite rapper and shit. But I never said, yeah, I'm finna be a rapper. Like, mm -hmm. not, that never happened. I just kind of, it was like a challenge going around. I did the challenge in my car, and I sent it to my mama. 
and I sent it to my uncle, and they both said it was hard. And my mm. mama made me make an Instagram, and she told me to just start dropping them like every Friday. But I was dropping them every day because mm. I was just excited that she said I could do it. You feel me? Yeah. And that's really where it came from. And then as more people seen me and more people seen me, it was like maybe I can do it. Or maybe I can do it. Okay, and then when the opportunity presents itself, is you gonna let it pass you by or is you gonna grab me? Right, so yeah. that's just how it happened. So before you started pursuing music, you didn't have like an Instagram or nothing like that? I don't, nah, I really didn't. I was on Twitter, but I wouldn't just like, I'd be chilling. Like, yeah. I, I'd be chilling. So no, nah, I really wasn't on that. Like, I just was working, minding my business. Yeah. So, so. How, how important do you feel like social media is as far as? kind of bringing the two together when it comes to your career. I feel like it it allows you to have people seeing you from wherever you are, like, yeah. and from wherever they are. So that's live, like, your, your reach is a little bit further, but you also have to be careful what they reaching to. You uh, feel me? So that's the, that's the crazy part. You can't, it's harder to change your narrative through social media because once you put it out there anybody can change your narrative like right. it can become anything so right that's the only downfall okay all right now we was kind of talking about the george floyd situation a little oh bit. my gosh about to make me mad all over again i mean just tell us how you feel about i'm it. about to go protest when we finish okay. i'm going to the protest because i'm upset and i don't feel like that shit is acceptable that this man can die on camera and say they're gonna kill me, mm-hmm. and then he die, and then they take him into custody, cause mm-hmm. that's what they said. They took him into custody. They didn't say he was about to go to jail. They said we took him into custody, as if they didn't already have the evidence. Cause if he was black, he would have been in custody that day. Right, you right, feel right. me? You feel right. me? Like okay. stop playing, but. They took this man into custody, and then after they take him into custody, they're going to say he already had underlying health conditions. And I just feel like that's so bullshit, because if he had underlying health conditions, he didn't have no underlying health conditions, okay? Everybody mm. knew him, mm. okay? He was a great man, and he was he didn't look sick to me, <laughs> okay? He didn't look sick to me before the shit. Mm. Any, hell, any fucking shit wrong with him, that's what they did, okay? And I just feel like that's crazy that y'all got body cams and y'all supposed to be the people that we supposed to call when we in danger. And this is what the fuck y'all do. Man. This is what the fuck y'all do. When we in danger, this is what y'all do. Now it's a video going around that it's a uh, it's an officer who started the goddamn shit in, in Minneapolis any fucking way. Mm. Breaking the windows and shit. Mm. But you really an officer. So really, whatever the fuck y'all got going on is scandalous any fucking way. Yeah. So really, who do we trust? Right. Who do we trust? <laughs> who do we trust? These people all they act a fucking fool. They ought to destroy every motherfucking building them people got. Every fucking uh, uh, precinct. Every cop car. All of it. Fuck them. Make them pay for it again. They got money. So that's the thing. That's the only action you think that we can take. Is just- I don't feel like that's the only act we can take, of course. But it's just like as as the people, I can understand the frustration. I can understand the anger. Like, okay, we trying. We tried to petition shit. Yeah. We tried to. What what what? What do we do? Yeah. We we do the advertisements. Yeah. You feel me? What what else do we do? Yeah. We have the black people in court already. We post already had the people in position. What the fuck else do we do? We can't go into the courts as ourselves and and change shit. They not listening to us. That's mm-hmm. that's the point. They not listening to us. And if y'all not gonna listen to us, oh y'all finna hear us. Mm-hmm. You gonna see us. <laughs> I'm with the shit. Yeah. Take it back. Take it back. Where's MLK? Take it the fuck back. We could boycott. We could do whatever the fuck. I'm with this shit. Like mm-hmm. I'm finna go to the protest. I'm with the shit, cause I just don't feel like that shit right, bro, and that shit not cool. And I feel like it's power and numbers. So if they can't see us in the political shit, oh yeah, you gonna see us out here in the street. You got to. Yeah. You got to. Somebody gonna do something, they gonna get tired of shit getting fucked up. They gonna get tired of fighting, and shit, we gonna get tired of fighting. But they gonna get tired of the shit first, you yeah, feel me? Yeah. So, that's it. At the end of the day, somebody gotta do something. Okay. And we trying, that's the point. Yeah. They got their signs. They tell me out what they want. And they just gotta hear them for the change. They gotta make the fucking change. 
Okay. You feel me? Right, I just wanted to get your perspective on it. Because you just made me mad. I'm, I'm sorry. Upset. Let's, let's go back to the I'm music. Up. <laughs> I'm upset. You got to be shaking and shit. So what Jeez. songs are we pushing right now? Um, so Money is still the single. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm about to drop the video. I'm honestly thinking about dropping a special project, um, including the video, so it can be something big. You feel me? But the video is done. Um, it's... It's, it's it's done and it's coming. You okay. feel me? Um, release date. We, we don't got a release date yet? Mm, nah. I can't give it to you. Right, yeah. it's, it's coming, it though. It's okay. coming. It's coming. It's coming. And it's a couple more videos in the work off the EP. So, all of that shit is coming. Okay. Money is the single. That's what we pushing. You feel me? It's a vibe. That's another single. You know what I'm saying? That's the singing song. You know what I'm saying? So, that's, it's two different sides of me. You feel me? So, uh -huh. you just got to... Whatever you feeling, whatever you like. Okay. I feel like I got a vibe for everybody. And it's in the new music that, that you got coming out, are we getting into the deeper you or what we're getting into? <laughs> um, I think we're getting into another another level of me, you know what I'm saying? Because definitely as you grow in the industry, especially when you're young, I feel like you have to mature faster. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it's definitely gonna be a whole different me than light skin checking in volume one the mixtape you feel me yeah it's completely different from where we going and it's gonna be a lot of different vibes you feel me and i'm also working on the um collab mixtape with big bad cab okay you know what i'm saying so that's gonna be crazy but you know any days for that one too or no i wanna i wanna drop that one next month but you know ain't no telling you know i told you you can't when you trying to plan stuff on schedule with rap, yeah. it never go, it never goes as scheduled as planned. You feel me? Right, right. It's kind of how it will go. I want it to work. Okay. Well, where can we find you on social media, and where can we find the music that you get out right now? Um, y'all can find me on Instagram at Desiree Simone underscore D S E R E E S I M O N E underscore, and I think that's Twitter too. Um, and you can just look me up. The music everywhere. It's on Apple Music. Spotify, YouTube, Spinrilla, um, anywhere. It's everywhere. Just look it up. Desiree Simone. Hashtag light skin checking in. It's going to pop up. All right, now. We appreciate you taking your time to highlight it. I appreciate y'all.